Hi, in this video we will do an upgrade of the Foundry VTT to version 11 from version 10. If you have installed Foundry in the uh, manner that I have presented here using the Oracle free tier or any other cloud service, the basic way to update it would require two steps. The first step would be to update the Node.js to at least 18. 20 is the current version, but 18 is the long-term support version. And then we have to perform a clean install of the uh, Foundry VTT as such using v11 download URL. Now if you like to follow a uh, text guide, it is right here in Foundry Wiki and I'll link it below. You can follow the steps F and G and you will be done. But if you want a much more automated process, all of these can be put in the script again and I have done that here and it's basically the same commands just put in script along with comments telling you what we are doing and we will use the same method we did to install the uh, the server so the first thing is we need a instance running v10 and then we have to download this file and make a file called foundry update vtt.sh which is this first script then you have to make sure that the script is executable using that and then at the very end you will just run the script and that should do the uh, upgrade to the next version okay so I have a version 10 installed on a test system so current foundry version on this is 10 and uh, we can see it here as you can see I didn't put the license key in but you can see on the bottom that it says version 10 the latest build of version 10 okay now let's upgrade this to the next foundry version to do that I need this command from here so I'll copy that and here I just right click on the Windows terminal but if you have a different uh, system you have to figure out how to paste it in your terminal emulator so in this case I pasted it, enter, it has received that uh, file. If I do ls you can see that I do have foundry v10 to v11 as such. Again this is not an executable file yet so we have to execute it. To execute it we need to use this command so that we can make it executable. And then we do the last command which is to run that uh, executable file which is the script that we just got. So we paste it to do the upgrade and we wait. It will ask us for the time URL at one point. And I'll show you how to get that. Please enter the Foundry VTT v11 time download URL for Linux Node.js version. So for that, go to the Foundry website, log in, and go to the download software page. So in your own download software page, you will see a recommended release. Make sure that this is not Windows, but Linux Node.js. Click on the time URL. It should copy it to your clipboard. We come back here. We right click, hit enter, and it's off to the races. So it's downloading the uh, new version of Foundry and replacing all the files inside the Foundry folder. It has made a backup of that beforehand. I'll show you once it's done installation. Okay, it's going to take about five seconds and then it's going to do a restart. Perfect, we'll give it a few minutes and we'll come back to uh, this page and see what we see. I'm going to give it uh, maybe another minute or so. And there it is. So it took about two minutes, one and a half to two minutes, and now it is on version 11, build 36. So if you have already entered the license key, like if it's a live version, you'll just get the live page straight away. Well, that's it. That's how you upgrade from version 10 to version 11. 
I'll leave some links below so in case you want to come and see this again you should be able to access those links well all the best and happy gaming this is the editor me uh, after looking at the video one time I realized I didn't show you uh, the archived folder so let's go back into the uh, WPS and here you can see that we have a foundry archive v10 this is a folder that contains your older foundry data in case you need to access it you can always find it here now for some reason if you don't want to keep this folder once v11 is running perfectly fine you can just delete this folder using the rm command so something like rm recursively remove make sure that it is not the direct foundry but the archive folder and then you should be able to remove the entire folder now you have no backup so don't do this unless you are having issues with space management and you need that space back okay and I do apologize for the voice I am traveling and I have a cold so uh, thank you for bearing with me well all the best